Global Highest Good Stewardship. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 435. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our July 25th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today what I want to talk about is global highest good stewardship. That is a huge concept. And because one community's motto, our tagline, our focus, our number one value is highest good creation, this is a topic that I am super passionate about. And when I talk about highest good, what does that mean? Well, first of all, it's really important to me to understand that we are non-ideological and non-dogmatic about that topic. You know, we don't feel like we've figured out exactly what the highest good for everybody is, what is absolutely the highest good. What it means is that we're dedicated to doing our best to create what we feel is the highest good and in the highest good of all. It's to think cooperatively and collaboratively, to constantly make our decisions with like, what could be the best decision that we could make here? What is the best thing that we can do? And to constantly keep evolving that and improving on that. So when we talk about global highest good, we say, we mean like thinking of the planet and what is in the best interest of humanity and all life on this planet and how we can achieve global sustainability, how we can achieve a global a global balance that is giving more to the planet than it takes, that can last indefinitely. You know, and so that's really what we mean when we talk about global highest good stewardship is like how do we steward our planet rather than just being, you know, residents here or visitors, depending on what your perspective is on, you know, life and how long we laugh, like, oh, at last I'm just a visitor on this planet, you know, and then I'll die and, you know, then somebody else will carry it on, you know, rather than just being, you know, a temporary blip on the planet, how can we be true stewards? Like, how can we take care of this world? How can we be, how can we manage it intelligently, ethically, consciously, conscientiously? How can we be, as a species, a force for good and renewal and building better in ways that don't destroy? How can we create a world that works for everybody? And so one community is answering that question. Our Global Highest Good Stewardship Plan is to answer that question. How can we create a world that works for everybody? And how can we achieve that within our lifetime? And our answer to that is through, and what we're doing, through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And those highest good living aspects are broken into two different categories. The physical foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as food, energy, housing, and the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we're focusing on as fulfilled living practices, like personal growth, development, the things that make life enjoyable, what we call highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and then the true earth stewardship, the sustainability aspect, the taking care of it all in a way that will benefit us, our children, our children's children, children's children and generations to come, and putting all that together as an evolution of sustainability and demonstrating it as a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. So our idea for Global Highest Good Stewardship is to create a self-replicating model of sustainable living that's better than the way that live, people are living right now, thus the reason it becomes self-replicating, and also making easy enough and affordable enough so it's accessible to pretty much everybody and open sourcing and free sharing it so that people that have better ideas or would like to change that, modify it, adapt it, create some other version of it can, and so there's no limitations on sharing and putting that out in the world and then building one community as the living example of a place that people can come and see how amazing cooperation and collaboration is compared to the everyone for themselves paradigm that most people are living in right now. 
to see what a community of people that share the value of living and creating for the highest good of all, what we can create and what that looks like, to come and experience what it looks like to be in an environment where people are working together to make the environment as efficient, as effective, and as fun as we possibly can, and what that looks like, like what's possible. And then with, with, from within that environment, to look around and see that every single thing that you see is open source and free shared. So if you see a house, there's open source plans for how to replicate that house. If you see something growing, there's open source plans not only how to grow that, but how to prepare that food as well. You know, in the education program, open source plans for all of that as well. Everything, the fulfilled living practice as well. If you take a class, there's going to be open source access to that class and the details of how that class was put together as well. And all this stuff is already outlined on our website. Global highest good stewardship for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet to reach the tipping point of participation so that it positively and permanently benefits everyone to create a world that works for everyone within our lifetime and demonstrate what's possible through cooperation and collaboration with the goal of regenerating our planet as well as ourselves for the highest good of all of us. This is what One Community is up to. We're an all-volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We're an open source organization. And we're creating this because we want to live this way, because we want anyone else that wants to live this way to be able to live this way as well. And because we see a world that works for everybody as possible within our lifetimes. And if not us, then who? If not now, then when? You know, we are the ones that we've been waiting for. And so we've been working on this now for a decade and we're getting close. We're only a couple years away, we think, from being able to be ready to start construction. And so um, this is what we're working on every single day putting putting you know one foot in front of the other and traveling that path towards the destination of building one community as a place that you and your friends and your family will be able to come and visit and experience and if you like what you see to replicate it this is what one community is up to so if you like this kind of thing and you would uh you want to follow our progress like and subscribe subscribe to our newsletter uh, if you'd like to learn more about what it is that we're doing, specifics on everything I talked about, everything you see in the background of this video, and so much more, visit our website. If you'd like to see specifics on what our all-volunteer team has accomplished just in the last week, visit our written blog. Every single person is listed there, and what it is that they accomplished is there as well. And uh, if you'd just like to see an overview of the bullet points and the key aspects of each of the major components of our project, well, then stick around for two more minutes and watch You know those components, uh, those specifics are going to be shown. Uh, here at the end of the video, and I think that's it. With that said, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.